Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 0.23. And in the previous episode, we put four communication satellites up, except that one of them isn't quite functioning uh, properly, and that's the uh, Uragity uh, satellite, which, because of an orientation problem, didn't have sufficient electric charge. I'm not too sure how the electric charge on the rest of them will hold, but they're holding up for now. And uh, so we're going to time off a bit so that uh, we get to the point where connectivity is good. Uh, connectivity is only good when all of them are high in their orbits. And that lasts for a little bit. And it looks like it's good right now. This one is connected through and that one is connected to... Oh, well, that's Uragity. Huh. Actually, I don't really want that to be the connection priority. Well, uh, Bermuda's fine. So Bermuda, it, it will be launching in this direction and so it'll be handing off to Bermuda anyway. Uh, maybe a little bit longer. So what we're gonna try and do, okay, now we've got the uh, whole grid up. Alright, let's go to the VAB and see what we need to cook up. Ah, did I say VAB? What I meant was tech tree. So, what we need is probably the science. So, let's let's go for the gravioli and thermometer. And I think that'll be the thing to do. Get those scientific instruments so we can do much more science. And then we'll go to VAB. Alright, so see you there. So here we are, and we're going to modify the State Putnik 6, which was the one that actually returned. And what we want to do is have, have some scientific instruments, to put it simply. All we need is gravioli. Let's, let's have four of them. Uh, not cutting through things, though. Uh, yeah, I really should keep angle snap on. And four thermometers. It's not like they're a huge mass issue, so... Yeah. Let me move the solar panel. Is it, uh, mirrored? No. Just one of them. Okay, so yeah, I think that's fine. We'll probably need all the hydrazine. And yeah, so I don't think this should be called Stay Putnik anymore. Uh, yeah, they, they always come with really, uh, let, 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 let's call it the G-Therm one. Yeah, so gravioli and thermometric, whatever you like, uh, satellite one. Well, actually, I should save it while the fairings are on. Okay. Hmm, check staging. It's fine. Okay, I think that's good. All right. Let's try not getting this into insanely high orbits this time. Try and get that right. All right, so see our launch pad and let's see how we can control this. Now, keep in mind that we can't use the Commutron 16s in order to control it to release the parachutes because the Commutron 16s snap in the atmosphere. So it has to be the one that's open automatically. I keep forgetting what that's called. Um, the one that we're actually using to launch it right now. That is the one that will have to manage the parachutes and that's a shorter range one. So have to be cognizant of that. All right, throttle is up. Everything's a go. Well, we don't really need this anymore. That was just to put the satellites up. All right. So hopefully our satellite network will keep us safe this time. And that means that we can 
follow a much more normal trajectory with the whole launch instead of trying to do it high in order to maintain communication with the KSC. Uh, oh yeah, that's the one commutatron that always falls off for some reason. Right? Yeah. Don't know what's up with that yet. And since... I, I'm probably gonna just rebuild this particular satellite. I mean, it just so happens that this is the one that worked last time, so I'm just reusing it. But really, we need a better satellite. Uh, not satellite. Uh, well, it is a satellite, but... Uh, research. Uh, orbital research thing. Probe. Yeah. Orbital research probe. Actually, that's what I should call the future ones. O ORPs, Orbital Research Probes. Actually, we should be doing Gravioli stuff even now, but and the thermometer, but maybe focus on the way down? I, I don't know. But, well, re-entry takes a long time, so yeah, I guess I'll do it on the way down instead of the way up, if I remember. Which, uh, if you recall, isn't a isn't a given. Okay, so we're all nice and horizontal. We are in space. And let's get our commutatrons activated. Hopefully the upper stage one is activated as well. Actually, let me jettison one of the fairings. Let, let's let just say the top one. Uh, set side one is safer. Alright. So yeah, we've got those extended and uh, let's let's do some experiments before I forget. Uh, eight points, so oh well. Okay. All gravity data. Above Kerbin's water. Okay, 22 points. We can transmit that for 100%. Well, I mean, if we're going to get 100% out of it, uh, how much electric charge is it going to take? I guess we're going to find out. Well, let's find out. Oh, because the rocket is recharging, it's it's fine. Okay. I'm sure it does take the electric data, uh, uh, electric charge, but um, but the rocket is recharging our batteries. Okay. Well, activate data recorder before I forget. Let's get this apoapsis under control. I guess there's no good way to get the apoapsis under control. Um, sample? Yeah. Guess I could just shut down and relight that apoapsis. Uh, let's let's just try and do something strange like this instead. Okay, that's good enough. We don't want to make trouble for getting back. So that's that part. We're in orbit with plenty of fuel to spare. Got a second relight on this one, but probably not going to use it. Yeah, I'll use the RCS to deorbit as before. And we've already got the in space low stuff, though if we get over other biomes we can still use the... This is in space low, right? Yeah. Keep that data. So, if we go over other biomes, we can do the gravioli over those as well. 
Okay, let's decouple. Everything is good. Let's not have all of the antennae out. Just need... Yeah, okay, data recorder full. That's fine. Deactivate that one as well. Let's see how we're connected. We're still connected directly to the KSC. Alright. So, the trick is, uh, if possible, we need to burn at apoapsis, or close to it, right around here, in order to bring our periapsis down into the atmosphere. And that would be a good thing. And preferably get our periapsis above the KSC, just for safety's sake. And so the trick is going to be whether all these satellites are going to help us maintain connection when we're over there. Okay. So that's the situation. I don't think we need to change our orientation at all. We've got our sample. Let's just quickly see if we're over a different biome. No. Let's use this view and wait till we're over land and try and get the gravioli. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we should be over land if we do it quickly enough. Okay, grasslands. Uh, well, uh, transmit. Let's see how much it costs us in terms of electric charge now. Does it not? Uh, oh, it, no, it doesn't seem to cost very much. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> uh, that was sort of a close call, isn't it? Weird. Huh. I, I mean, I didn't do much oral maneuvering. Hmm. But that just floated right on by. <laughs> we're, we're getting into a lot of space junk here. Oh boy. So here's how we're connected right now. It's actually through State Putnik 5, our good old friend. That, but uh, we could be connected through uh, the Aurora Valley TDRS. So that's all good. Now, what other biomes can we hit? I guess we could hit desert, right, at some point? Let's see. We've hit grasslands. Okay, now we're uh, connected through Aurora Valley. I see some lights over here. So, what sort of biome is this, do you suppose? This hasn't been used. Shores, okay. I can deal with that. Let's transmit that. Since transmitting seems to be a thing to do now, without too much electric charge usage. Okay. So I want to get desert if possible. But I can't really see where the deserts are. Um, oh, there's this one here. Since we're getting close to Apoapsis, I need to figure out exactly how to get us down. Let's say we burn here. Will that get our... Oh, that's too quick. Okay. Huh. Well, we don't have too much Delta V, so... I guess we'll be seeing whether we can maintain communication even when we're not over the KSC. Which satellite is this? Oh, that's the one that doesn't work. So, that's not good. Maybe we should... Well, our electric charge is only good for two orbits at most. 
I was thinking about going around a few times so that we're not in this satellite's purview, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, yeah, and those will all go down to their periapsis by that point. Actually, they're pretty high right now, and I'm worried that uh, they might be very low by the time I get over there. No, that costs too much Delta V. Let's say I just did a innocent little burn slightly into the atmosphere. Yeah, like that. Alright, uh... We've still got connection? Yes? Okay, good. So, this looks like the right time. Uh, whoa, hey, don't drift. So one way or another we got some science out of this whole thing. Because we transmitted that gravioli data. And we'll transmit some more once we get over the desert. The trick is whether we can get those biological samples down and get the parachute open. And since we, we have to deal with this uragity one, I'm not too sure. Though, I guess we might be able to connect through Madrid. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I can see that we would connect through Madrid. We'll see. Alright, uh, RCS is good, but we're at our apoapsis, so we turn all the way around to our prograde vector and then that means that at periapsis will be aimed at our retrograde vector. Okay, so RCS off. And so right before we hit uh, periapsis, right before we get back into the atmosphere we should be able to do our desert reading. Let's time warp a bit and see how that works out for us. Uh, we don't have connection even though I don't see why we don't have connection. Hmm. Why aren't these satellites working for us? Madrid should be connecting to Bermuda, should be connecting to Oral Valley. Oh, Uragity, right. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait until Madrid can connect to... Oh dear. Well, anyway, let's get the... Now we're... We are... Well, we could do Highlands or something like that, but let's let's get over the desert. Oh, but we can't do anything until we get connection. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, Stay put, Nick 5 might be able to help. Let's see. Good old state Putnik. Oh, we're uh, hitting the atmosphere. Good thing I oriented correctly on the apoapsis side. Well, we might not be able to get the desert one, but we might still be able to save the biological samples. We'll see. Well, no point being out here. Let's just uh, go to this view. And we're just going to wait for connection. Otherwise we'll just watch it do its thing, I guess. So yeah, I misjudged it. Uh, it turns out the KSC went into Uragity territory. And that was not a good thing. So this is 
this is the Uragadi circuit and unfortunately Aurora Valley was not in position and uh, where's Madrid? Madrid is over here. Madrid's still not in line of sight. State Putnik 5 amazingly enough even though it's been very helpful happened not to be in line of sight. So jury's still up but I don't think we're gonna get connection in time to open the parachutes this time. Ooh. Oh yeah, the the um, Commutatron probably just uh, got snapped off, which only makes it more unlikely that we're gonna. Oh, we are connected. Okay, good, good. And that's probably State Putnik, is it? Yeah, good old State Putnik. Uh, you you just can't underestimate the value of a State Putnik, right? All this TDRS stuff, and uh, and sure enough, what's gonna save us, if anything, is the state put Nick. Now let's try and get some more readings here. Let's log temperature. Okay, upper atmosphere. And how about uh, gravioli over here? Uh, gravity scan can't be done right now. Beats me. Why not? How about now? No. Still upper atmosphere. Oh, this is looking quite good. Guess gravity scan can only be done in orbit. Hmm. Well, we can still get a low atmosphere temperature reading. No, still upper atmosphere. Okay, I think it's parachute time. No point waiting. SAS is off. Now, can we do a... Okay, that's a used one. Oop, don't want to drag that window along. Kerbin's Deserts, okay. And can we do a gravioli over Kerbin's Deserts? Doesn't even want to give me a chance. Log gravity data, nope. Okay, well I think we've got everything. We've even got a sample this time. But I can't really say that our satellite network was a great success. After all, we relied on the State Putnik 5, which was already launched before this whole system was done. And I completely blame this particular satellite, which of course does not have electric charge. And that was because I didn't orient it properly to, uh, so that the side was facing the sun. Need to get those extendable solar panels. That would be a, That would be a good thing. And uh, we'll see if we can. After all, we've got some new science now. And once we bring this back down, we should have more than 100 from this. And then we probably transmitted more than, more than 66. Uh, I don't know how many we did. Did we do four of them or three of them? Well, we'll find out once we retrieve this. So no, uh, let's see, altitude true, okay. Okay. Now is it a heat shield? Oop. 
bit of a rough landing. All right, but we've got it. Let's recover it. All right, so this doesn't show what we transmitted, but altogether we've got 200. We got 100 from the biological samples. We've got some scattered temperature readings and uh, recovery of a vessel from a Kerbin orbit, very important. But I guess we got about 66 from the graviolis because we already had a little bit uh, left over. And now we have 200 altogether. Let's take a look at the tech tree and think about what we might be able to do with this 200 science. So taking a look here, uh, this early capsules is 500 science, so maybe we should save up for that. We've got more experiments, but that is already 250 science, so not, not, not doable right now. Which, which means that we have to do a lot more gravioli and thermometer stuff in different biomes if we ever want to unlock just the next experiments. I guess that's the priority, really. Um, yeah, so this is all communication and probe stuff. Probably not necessary right now, even though we can afford it. Uh, a battery bank like this would be very helpful. But... I really want extendable solar panels. Lights are a drain on electricity that I don't need right now. Landing is ways away. Um, more engines? Uh, some of the Russian rockets. Those would be fun and way overpowered. Yeah, these, these are stuff that should come later. I mean, the lunar module ascent engine. Of course, I have to remind everyone that I'm using the real engines pack but really with this tech tree you should be using the reaching for the stars engine pack and so these engines are all like in the wrong place oh, got interrupted by a phone call anyway um solid rocket boosters not so much fun uh though you know the the stretchable srbs are serious business that's that's nothing to joke around about those are good stuff but um, struts don't need. Staging could be fun. Staging is always fun. But not high priority. Roundified fuel tanks. Uh, that's, that's good stuff. I love those. So that's, and I also love reaction wheels, so I don't have to turn on RCS every time I want to maneuver. But, you know what, honestly, it looks like uh, our science experiments are the thing that, oh, wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of cheating with the way I'm doing the fairing at the top right now. And so uh, the 1.25 meter fairing base is, is definitely something I want. To, so that I can stop doing that. Hmm. Okay, so I mean the priority is advanced science instruments, but I also want the fairings from here. Oh, and uh, general. Oh, I installed the the real jets, if you will, pack. I don't know what it's called, but uh, there is a uh, mod that adjusts the default engines so that they match real engines and so we've got a General Electric J85 turbojet I don't think it's supposed to be in fairings and adapters but uh, well that's where it is now so um, so yeah that's a thing and what else do we have we've got the really, that's not gonna be a big thing Pratt & Whitney F100 turbofan good stuff and it uses kerosene as you can see nice Maybe planes. I, I think there are some experiments associated with aircraft. Do I see any of that here? Uh, these are just the cockpits. Uh, they, they have special avionics nose cones, and I don't see that right now. So maybe that... Uh, but there's only 10 science. But it's no good spending that 10 science when you can't recoup it on an experiment. Okay, so I'm thinking about uh, fairings and adapters and then try and get more science so that I can buy more science uh, experiments to do. And I'll think about that and then I'll decide for next time. So next time we're probably going to be doing more 
gravioli experiments, though maybe I need to put something into polar orbit before then, because probably one biome that I want to hit is the polar ice caps. And if we're going to try and hit the polar ice caps, obviously I need a communication satellite up there. All right, so, um, and probably replace that one satellite that doesn't have electric charge. All right, so lots of plans for next time. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.